If your game sometimes feels laggy, freezes for a second, or drops frames out of nowhere, the problem might not be your PC. Most of the time, it's because Windows is running background tasks that you don't even see. These tasks use up your CPU and GPU, which can cause stutters and FPS drops during gameplay. In this video, I'll show you how to fix that. We'll go through simple steps to turn off the things in Windows that slow down your games so you get smoother, more stable performance on Windows 10 or 11. Let's get started. Step 1. Disable Activity History Tracking Windows includes a background feature known as Activity History, which silently tracks everything you do, such as app usage, browsing behavior, and software interactions, so it can sync that information across your devices through your Microsoft account. While this might help with productivity tools like timeline or cross-device syncing, it consumes CPU cycles and memory that would otherwise be available for your game. On low-end PCs, this constant tracking can create unnecessary strain on system resources. To disable it, click the Windows search bar, type Activity History and open Activity History Privacy Settings. Scroll down until you find the checkbox labeled Store My Activity History on This Device. If it's checked, uncheck it. This change stops Windows from logging background activity, freeing up both RAM and processing power. Especially for gaming focused setups, turning this off ensures that no behind the scenes tracking is weighing down your system. Step 2 Turn off hardware acceleration in Discord. Discord is a popular app for in-game communication, but many users are unaware that it continues to utilize their GPU for rendering, even when minimized, if hardware acceleration is enabled. This setting lets Discord use your graphics card to animate and render its interface, but that means less GPU headroom for your game, which can result in performance dips, reduced frame rates, or input lag during critical moments. To disable it, launch Discord, click the gear icon in the lower left corner to open user settings. On the left menu, scroll down and select Advanced. Now, locate the option Hardware Acceleration and toggle it off. Discord will prompt you to restart. Click Yes. After that, Discord will no longer utilize your GPU in the background, giving your game more breathing room and ensuring smoother performance overall. Step 3. Disable hardware acceleration in Chrome. Just like Discord, Chrome can be a hidden resource hog. Even when minimized or running in the background, Chrome can use your GPU due to hardware acceleration, particularly if you have tabs playing videos or animations. This leads to unexpected GPU spikes or stutters, especially during games that are already pushing your system's limits. To disable it, open Google Chrome, click the three dots in the top right corner and choose Settings. Use the search bar at the top and type Hardware. Find the setting, use hardware acceleration when available, and switch it off. Restart Chrome when prompted. This change prevents Chrome from interfering with your game's graphics pipeline, ensuring that your GPU is fully dedicated to the game instead of browser animations you aren't even watching. Step 4. You need to do is download the Ultimate Windows Optimization Pack. I tested a powerful Windows optimization pack that targets every part of your system to boost speed, reduce lag, and improve responsiveness. No matter your setup, these tweaks can unlock smoother gameplay and higher frame rates. To get this pack, just head over to my official website at uptopacks.com. The link is available in the description. Once you're on the site, navigate to the FPS Boost section and look for the post that shares the same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to recognize. Scroll down just a bit and you'll find a direct download link ready for you to grab with no hassle. Once you've downloaded and extracted the pack, we'll begin with one of the most impactful components, the Windows Registry Optimization Step. Inside this folder, you'll find a set of carefully selected registry tweaks designed specifically to fine-tune Windows for gaming performance. These aren't just random edits. Each one has a purpose, from reducing system latency to minimizing unnecessary background processing. They also force Windows to focus more on speed and efficiency in the areas that matter most to gaming. Applying them is easy. 
Just run each of the included .reg files one by one. This one move alone can bring a major improvement in overall responsiveness and FPS stability, especially when combined with the rest of the optimization pack. Next, explore the CPU optimization folder included in the pack. This section is all about unlocking better processor performance. It contains essential scripts and tools built to lower CPU latency, fine-tune process handling, and help your system allocate CPU power more intelligently during gameplay. Be sure to apply every file in this folder. Each one contributes to enhancing how well your CPU reacts during heavy workloads, especially in real-time scenarios like fast-paced online matches. After applying those tweaks, move into the CPU priority folder. You'll see two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and another for AMD CPUs. It's important to open the correct one based on your system. If you're using an Intel processor, go inside the Intel folder and run the optimization file. If you're on AMD, use the one made for AMD. These files tell Windows to prioritize game processes higher, giving your games a more reliable share of CPU resources, which leads to smoother performance under pressure. After that, go back to the main folder. From here, open the GPU Registry Tweaks folder. This step plays a key role in improving how your graphics card communicates with Windows, which directly affects in-game graphics performance. Start by running the Gaming Performance Registry file. This tweak sets the groundwork for better GPU prioritization across your system. Simply double-click it, approve the changes by selecting Yes and confirm with OK. After that, you'll see two more files, Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. These are optional presets meant to match your GPU's capabilities. If you're using a lower end or older graphics card, go with the low medium file. If your system features a newer or more powerful GPU, the medium high version will help you get more performance without risking system stability. Apply it the same way, double click, confirm both prompts and you're done. After that, go into the GPU thread optimization folder. This section has brand specific registry files tailored for Nvidia, AMD and Intel graphics cards. Pick the one that matches your GPU brand. For example, if you have an Nvidia GPU, choose the related file, double click it, hit yes on both pop-ups and it's done. These tweaks help your GPU handle multi-threaded tasks more efficiently, which is a big deal when you're trying to maintain high FPS and consistent performance during intense gameplay moments. Now let's address memory performance. Inside the RAM optimization folder, you'll find registry files customized for different RAM sizes. These tweaks are designed to improve how Windows handles memory access and caching, especially under load. If you have 16 GB of RAM, apply the 16 GB RAM.reg file. If you have 80 GB, 32 GB, or even 64 GB of RAM, choose the file that matches your installed memory. This will help reduce paging delays, free up idle memory, and ensure faster access to game data. If anything feels off after applying a memory tweak, like slowdowns or freezes, don't worry. The pack also includes a reset to default reg file that lets you safely restore the original memory settings. You can always test and adjust to see which setup delivers the best results on your system. With those tweaks applied, it's time to launch one of the most powerful tools in the optimization pack, Quick Boost. This utility is popular among pro gamers and performance enthusiasts because it strips away unnecessary Windows functions and pushes your PC into its most efficient gaming state. Once you open Quick Boost, you'll see several tabs, General, Advanced, Cleanup, Storage, and Windows. Start with the General tab. It contains some of the most essential settings, especially after Windows updates that often re-enable background services. Begin by enabling exclusive full screen mode. This forces your games to take full control of the screen, reducing frame latency by bypassing extra Windows layers. Disable Xbox Game Bar next. Even if you don't use it, it constantly runs in the background, using up valuable system resources. Then, turn off startup telemetry to prevent Windows from analyzing system activity in the background. You should also disable mouse acceleration for better accuracy in fast-paced games, 
as it allows for more natural and consistent mouse movement. Make sure power saving mode is disabled as well. We want your CPU to run at its full potential, not slow itself down to save power. Finally, turn off unnecessary system services that do nothing for gaming but still consume CPU threads behind the scenes. Switch over to the advanced tab to unlock deeper system level gains. One major tweak here is disabling power forward link, a hidden feature in Windows that reduces performance to save energy, which is the opposite of what we want for gaming. You'll also find memory tweaks here that help the system handle RAM access more efficiently, minimizing stutters and improving load times. Another important option is increasing the hardware data queue size. This tweak boosts your system's input processing rate, which improves precision and reaction speed in competitive gameplay. Next, go to the storage tab. This is where you can clean up your system, clear out temporary files, outdated logs, old update leftovers, and junk that piles up over time. Doing this helps free up disk space and improves your system's responsiveness, which translates to shorter loading times and smoother transitions during gameplay. Lastly, visit the Windows tab. This section focuses on visual polish and eliminating distractions. Enable hidden folder visibility so you can manually find and delete junk files from older game installations or crashes. Disable notifications to avoid pop-ups mid-game. Turn off clipboard history, which uses memory quietly in the background, and be sure to disable Windows transparency effects. These small visual features look nice but consume both GPU and CPU resources, so turning them off directs more power to your game instead. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Adjust CPU priority via Registry Editor. Windows, by default, tries to balance CPU power between background tasks and active applications. However, for gaming, you want the CPU to focus more on the game you're actively playing. With a small registry tweak, you can make Windows prioritize foreground apps more aggressively, giving your game faster CPU response and reducing stutters during heavy usage. To change it, press the Windows key, type Registry Editor, and open it. In the address bar at the top, paste the exact registry path provided in the video or description and press Enter. Look for the entry named Win32 Priority Separation on the right-hand panel. Double-click it and set the value data to 16, hexadecimal. Click OK, then close the registry editor. This tweak instructs Windows to prioritize processing power toward whatever window is actively in use, like your game, resulting in better performance under load, especially when multitasking. Step 6. Disable Storage Sense. Storage Sense is a Windows feature that automatically cleans up temporary files and system junk to free up space. While useful, it can randomly activate while you're gaming, especially on low storage systems. If this cleanup kicks in during a match, it can cause sudden disk usage spikes, leading to lag, stuttering, or even freezing on older hard drives. To turn it off, open the Windows search bar, type Storage Sense, and click on Storage Settings. Scroll down to find the section labeled Storage Sense, then toggle it off. 
This stops automatic cleanup from running during crucial moments, ensuring that your disc isn't being hammered by background tasks while you're trying to maintain a smooth gameplay experience. Step 7. Turn off notifications and background alerts. Windows and many third-party apps love to send notifications, everything from system updates to promotional messages. These notifications may pop up as overlays or animations while you're gaming, temporarily shifting your system's focus and causing micro stutters or input lag. In competitive games, even a small delay like this can make a huge difference. To disable them, type notifications and actions into the Windows search bar and click on the matching result. Once inside, locate the setting that says get notifications from apps and other senders and switch it off. With this setting disabled, you'll no longer receive intrusive pop-ups during your gaming session and your system will stay locked on your game without interruption or performance penalties from UI rendering. Step 8. Disable High Precision Event Timer HPET or High Precision Event Timer is an older system level timer used by Windows for coordinating tasks. While it used to be helpful for certain hardware, most modern CPUs and games now rely on other, more efficient timing systems. Keeping HPET enabled can actually introduce delays in some setups, leading to increased input lag or game instability. To disable it, open the device manager by searching for it in the start menu. Expand the system devices section. Locate the entry named high precision event timer, then right click on it and select disable device. Windows may ask for confirmation. Click yes. Disabling HPEs can often result in tighter input response and smoother frame timing, especially in fast paced titles. If something feels off after the change, you can always re-enable it the same way. That's it for today's guide. If this helped you fix stutters and improve your FPS, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more gaming optimizations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.